I'm Eric Kerr, and welcome to Interlink Search Engine Television. In this episode, we're going to show you how to build a long tail search. A long tail search is a search built usually of at least three words, and sometimes as many as six or seven words, but it's usually three to five words, and it's built along a root keyword along with identifiers. So, like in any website marketing or search engine optimization plan, your first step is to research. You need to look at your product mix and figure out what words people are using to find you, just the root words. If you're a real estate agent in Boulder, Colorado, your terms are going to be either real estate agent Boulder, real estate Boulder, real estate Denver, surrounding areas you build your long term. But your root is real estate Denver, three words. If uh, you're selling insurance in Cincinnati, your root is insurance Cincinnati. And then if, you, if you're selling a product um, like uh, tires, your root search may just be car tires. And then you build the long tail off of the type of car tires you sell, uh, the type of homes you sell, the type of insurance, auto insurance. So instead of insurance Cincinnati as your root search, as you build in the long tail, it becomes Auto Insurance Cincinnati, Ohio. And you can build further on that with, if you specialize in high risk insurance, high risk Auto Insurance Cincinnati. Now, when we look geographically across the United States, the long tail changes from region to region. In the South, people look for car insurance more. It's the same way in the Midwest. On the East Coast, it's auto insurance. And in the West Coast, you get a mix. Uh, the same is true for if you're doing a website marketing program, you're trying to build a long tail search for an attorney. In the South, there are lots of pages that say DUI attorney, divorce attorney, personal injury attorney. People aren't looking for that. They're looking for DUI lawyers. So you have to make sure you get your keyword correct for the region of the country you're in. So once you've done your research, built your root keywords, the keyword tools you use either Overture or Keyword Discovery are the two biggest we use. We really like Keyword Discovery. They're going to give you suggestions for the long tail. <clears throat> and when you build your long tail matrix, you use these descriptors of either location, size, color, practice area to build in the long tail. But what you have to make sure you do is build a relevant tail. We see a lot of people building long tail searches off a, a root keyword that is relevant but their long tail becomes irrelevant. They're just trying to drive traffic to their site. Now, we think this is going to hurt you in a couple ways in the long run. One, is, and the biggest, is frustration on the part of your customers because you don't have what they were led to believe you had by being directed to your website. So always make sure your tail is relevant. Okay, now, when you get to the optimization level, you've built your tail. You've got your keywords here. Now, let's say this is a two-word two keyword. So, Insurance Cincinnati, never go any more than three levels or three words onto your long tail. That gives you three, six, nine. You can go two or three here, but you never want to be working on more than 12 keywords. Because what will happen is your content and your page that you're optimizing will just become stuffed with keywords. Now, that will help you rank well, and you'll get impressions on the long tail, which you won't be able to do is convert these to sales because you cannot create a compelling enough case. So what we want to do now is we build our long tail, we've got two and three word root phrases, we've got our long tail, no more than three words on each descriptor, no more than three descriptors. So never focus on more than three cities, three sizes, or three practice areas. Once we've built that out, we take the most popular to come up with the three. So if you have 10 descriptors, the three that generate the most traffic are what you want to focus on. Then you start building those keywords into your content. And you, you do long tail search in conjunction with what's called normalization. Your page should be normalized and the number of words on it to the exact level of the average of 10 page, or the 10 sites listed in the search. So if you do a search for Insurance Denver and the top 10 pages have an average of 800 words in them, that is your target, right to the center there. That becomes a normalized page. Now, a lot of people do long tail search to make another mistake of optimizing the long tail in the same way you would optimize a root keyword. You do not want to do this. It will result in overstepping of your title and description tags is the worst part. 
your root keyword, those two or three words at the root, they go in the title and, and the description. You also put these root keywords into your on-page content. The long tail stay either in the content section and you can sprinkle them through your anchor text. You don't necessarily want to put too much long tail into your title because you come up with a very long title and you come up with a very long description. So if you get the jackpot and you get the first or second position for the serfs and your title and description are stuffed with as many as 12 keywords, it's great you rank there, you rank well there, but you haven't provided any compelling case for the com customer to engage you for your products and services or even to click on the link in the first place. Only optimize on your critical paths being title, description, and content with your root words. Build your long tail out, do that optimization, and the content sprinkled through the anchor text. In a high frequency, very competitive nature, or nature term, you're going to have to put your root keywords into your anchor text as well to make sure you get to the top or near the top and stay there. That's it, our quick lesson on long tail search. The key factors to remember, make sure your root keywords ties very neatly to your product description, your product mix, product service, whatever it is you do, the root has to tie perfectly to there. Make sure the long tail is never more than three words deep on three descriptors, never more than nine words on your long tail. When you optimize, make sure you check out the competition level to see who's above you, and that will determine where you put your root and your long tail search terms. You're going to try to keep your title description as your root, and then your content and your anchor text can have the long tail sprinkled through it. Hope this was helpful, and we'll see you on the next episode of Search Engine Television. Thank you.